Hi, I shall now be introducing to you another class of osteoporosis therapies known as the rank ligand inhibitor. Denosumab is the only approved drug from this class, brand no name of which is Prolia. Denosumab prevents bone loss by slowing down the production and activity of osteoclasts. Osteoclasts are bone cells that slow down bone breakdown. It does so very effectively, resulting in significant reduction in fracture risk at all sites. Denosumab is used to treat severe osteoporosis in women after menopause and aging men considered at high risk for fracture. High risk being defined as someone with recent osteoporotic fracture, multiple risk factors for fractures, or who has failed or intolerant to other approved therapies. It is also used to treat osteoporosis in both women and men who have bone loss caused by cancer treatments. Denosumab 60 milligrams is given every six months as a subcutaneous injection, must be given by a healthcare professional. It may cause low calcium levels in blood, hence calcium levels should be checked prior to starting therapy and before each shot. This is easily avoidable. Reversible, hence requires follow-up treatment with an alternative treatment. Overall, denosumab is very well tolerated and safe with adverse events being rare. Only two cases of atypical femoral fracture were reported in the 10-year freedom extension trial. Similarly, the incidence of osteonecrosis of the jaw is very low with an estimated rate of 5.2 per 10,000 participant years. Alert your doctor if you develop any unusual pain in your jaw or in hip, groin, or thigh. Continue to take calcium and vitamin D supplements as recommended by your doctor. Complete all invasive dental work before starting therapy. As mentioned earlier, denosumab is rapidly reversible. It does not reside in the skeleton. And if therapy is delayed or interrupted, that can result in bone loss, which in rare cases can translate into an increased fracture risk. Hence, it is extremely important that injections are given every six months and not delayed beyond an extra two to four weeks. Please discuss with your provider and ensure you are marking your calendars with dates of therapy and adjusting travel plans accordingly.